Welcome to Feed Your Mind. So today I will discuss with you how the sky is a clock. It's not our calendars and our digital clocks keeping track of time. All of our calendar systems and clock systems are based off of the rotations of the cycles of the luminaries and the sun and the stars. And it has to do with the eras and centuries and ages, you know, like the age of Pisces and the age of Aquarius. All that stuff has to do with the star systems. So the stars aren't suns in outer space at various distances. No, the stars are part of this dome firmament and the stars are here for our signs. And the sky is a clock. The cycles of the moon that's how we keep track of the calendar systems and the month if we're traveling through space we're not going to have the same skies we can't have that precision when it comes to keeping track of time because we'd be all over the place they said we're zigzagging through space at all these insane speeds we're not going to have the same star systems that people have been keeping track of since recording of time they should be scrambling all over the place why is everything so perfect and the calendar system all that stuff is too perfect for life to be some accident like scientists try to tell you life is some big bang accident of some singularity appearing out of nothing blowing up and turning into rocks and then the rocks turn into lizards and the lizards turn into monkeys and the monkeys turn into people and all the stars in the heavens keep perfect track of time our watches are set to the clocks of the heavens that's what time is time is not the calendar on your wall time is the cycles of the heavens the sky above you is perfection it doesn't deviate it keeps constant track of time for us to use look at the sundials you can pull out a sundial from way back in the ages and it'll keep perfect time the sun is running the same routes just like a bus goes the same route every day well the sun does the same route throughout the year and that's why the sundial is perfect it's because the heavens are perfect it's not a random accident so you got this display right here as you can see the sun travels east to west so you got the same type of situation as the globe where it can be daytime in china and nighttime in the u.s because the sun goes around the circle plane like a dish plate so the sun just hovers above and goes in a circular motion and you still get the same type of time zones and everything. And as far as seasons is concerned, well, the sun doesn't just go in the same path. It takes different paths. It works its way to the North Pole circle, and it goes around that. And then for the winter, it works its way to the Antarctic region and circles around that area. So that's your seasons right there. And with the Antarctica trip around the circle the sun is farthest away from america so we get the colder temperatures and then when it works its way to the northern area you get the hotter summers because it's closer to you and then the sun is not as big as they tell you it is it's much closer actually they say the sun and the moon are the same size and that would explain the eclipse is definitely not that far from us and you can tell too by sometimes um you'll notice the sunbeams shining down through the clouds it suggests a sun that's not too far if the sun can focus its sunbeams through a specific set of clouds in the area where the sun is when you look up you see the sun and then the beams are coming down through the clouds it's as if the sun is right there a very bright light shining down in that focused area because the radius of the sunbeams is in a straight relation to where the sun is so it's all in perspective so we gotta admit this looks as if the sun is above the clouds the sun's contained within this dome firmament check out my heliocentric deception playlist for much more information on the subject i'll leave the link in the comment section and the description box Simply enter your email address at FeedYourMind1.com. That way I can send you some cool news briefs throughout the week. It's completely free. I'm giving away free collectibles from my Feed Your Mind pop-up shop. Simply like, comment, and subscribe and include your favorite Flat Earth proof to enter. Please chip in one to five bucks to my Patreon page. I'll hook you up with some free videos before they come out. Plus, I have some other cool gifts and surprises for you over at patreon.com slash feedyourmind. Please click your notification bell. This has been another episode of Feed Your Mind. Thank you for tuning in. Signing off.